On Wednesday, not a lot said, we call it Holy Wednesday, but the best we can tell, Jesus was with his disciples in Bethany with Martha and Mary and Lazarus. And I can't imagine, but that he was reassuring them and loving on them and teaching them until Thursday, Monday, Thursday. What is Monday, Thursday? That'll be the Thursday coming up this week, church. We know a couple of things. We know that was when he gathered the disciples into the upper room preparing for Passover, and he had a meal with them, that meal of bread and wine. This was not a Seder meal. This was Jesus' last supper, if you will. Most notably, during that meal, Jesus stood up took off his cloak, wrapped a towel around his waist, and started to wash their feet. I don't know if any of y'all have ever been involved in a foot washing. It, uh, Melanie, I was going to just call you up here and wash your feet this morning, sweetie. <laughs> and I would. But I'll tell you just quickly the one time Uh, as I was going through licensing school and a young lady that was going through it with me, she said, I'd been playing some music during the week and uh, for for worship, and she said, hey, I want you to help me with this. Because we each had to preach a sermon, and this was hers. And I said, no worries. What do you want me to play? She said, I don't want you to play anything. You're going to wash the men's feet. I'm going to wash the women. I thought, how do I get out of this? I was afraid. I was nervous. The first person that sat down, he was going through licensing school too, 78 years old at that time. And I took his shoe off and I pulled his sock off and I started snotting and crying. His, bless his poor old foot. But I washed his foot and I truly felt I don't know how to say it any other way. I felt close to Jesus. I'm not saying that we're going to start washing feet here, church. That's, that's your own. That's up to yourself. But i got to tell you, it changed me that day. It moved me that day on Monday, Thursday. And it says, after he had finished washing uh, the disciples' foot, or feet, if you will, he then commanded them, to do the same for each other. And I think how many times we go through communion, and I think every time, please, church, please, read the part about the pardon and the confession before you come to take communion. Just like when we laid hands on, come to do that with your heart as pure as possible. And all you have to do in order to do that is to reach back out to God and go, Lord, I'm a f- sorry, I am. let me repent in my heart. Let me be pure of heart as I go forward. And that's why I love communion so much because Jesus, through God the Father and the Holy Spirit, shows us how we can forever ask forgiveness and be forgiven. <clears throat> 